Painting Sky and Water Wet on Dry Variegated Wash Video Lesson by Vladimir London In this video lesson, you'll discover how to paint sky and water using the Wet on Dry Variegated Wash. This is the finished artwork, which I will achieve by the end of this video lesson. I will make a wash with a soft mop brush from Escoda. To begin with, I premix several blue pigments in the quantities sufficient for the entire wash. A sky is not uniform in colour and tone. A cloudless clear sky is darker in zenith, and it is lighter and warmer the closer it gets to the horizon. That is why I start with a dark and cold blue colour mix at the top of this artwork. I am painting this sky in alla prima, which means from the first attempt, painting it from the top down, using the variegated wash and applying it wet on dry. This method, for the sky, works as follows. I begin from the top, and apply the cold mix in full strength. Keep in mind that the paint will get lighter when dry. Therefore, you may go 15-20% to darker than you would like in the finished artwork. While the paint is wet, I continue with another mix of paint, applying it next to the already painted areas, slightly overlapping the borders. This allows the paint to flow from one area to another, intermixing directly on paper. This is what makes this wash variegated from one colour to another. The white colour of clouds is preserved by painting around them. Now, let's see how the variegated wet-on-dry wash can be used to depict water. There is one rule that you need to keep in mind when painting water, including a sea, a river, or a lake. Big stretches of water reflect the sky, hence why the light to dark contrast will be reversed. In most cases, the water tonal values will be lighter closer to the horizon, and darker on the foreground. <laughs> 